everybody, welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor and I'm outside of my studio today and I'm here in nature. And I'm here to talk about team trees. What's team trees, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you did. Uh, the goal with team trees is to plant 20 million trees by 2020. This initiative is started by Mr. Beast, who's a very popular YouTube personality. You know, my son Sawyer is a big fan. Uh, Mr. Beast, Sawyer says hi. Uh, but I was so happy to hear this initiative because I support this wholeheartedly. Uh, and Mr. Beast wanted to do this massive collaboration with tons of YouTubers where we all have been working in secret to make videos to support this initiative. Here's how you can help. You can go to teamtrees.org. For $1, you will be able to plant a tree due to the Arbor Foundation. So this is a really good cause. I'm so happy to do it. You're gonna see a lot of your favorite YouTubers today talking about trees, the importance, what we're doing. But for me, if I'm gonna talk trees, I wanna do it in the medium that I love the most. So here we go. Let's break down the best trees in movies. There were surprisingly way more iconic tree scenes than I realized. My name is Elliot Moore. Just going to talk in a very positive manner. Giving off good vibes. We're just here to use the bathroom. And we're just gonna leave. That's okay. From palm trees to pizza trees. Hey, Sandra. But this list had to weed down the best of the best in no particular order, except for number one, which we'll announce at the end. Hard to start this without two obvious favorites the Whomping Willow from Harry Potter ah! and Tree Beard from Lord of the Rings. Some might call them grumpy, but I applaud these iconic tree characters as trees that fight back. The Whomping Willow is clearly more ornery than the two, but it's hard to not root for Treebeard as he and his kind march on to fight Sauron. But if we want to focus on truly angry trees, a list of this sort cannot skip the evil tree from Poltergeist. This one freaked me out as a kid. But this next one freaked me out later as an adult in a film that came out a year earlier than Poltergeist, Sam Raimi's Evil Dead a truly horrifying tree scene that he upgraded in his own sequel, Evil Dead 2. But it's impossible to give credit to either of these trees without first giving credit to the original Angry Orchard. What do you think you're doing? The apple trees of Wizard of Oz. Oh, yo. <laughs> For me as a child, they were definitely creepy, but who am I to tell them what their apples ought to be? On the other side of the coin, we have the old wise tree. And easily outranking the trees from Avatar or Fern Gully, for sheer kindness alone comes Grandma Willow from Pocahontas. She's so good, she finds good in Mel Gibson. He has a good soul. That says a lot. Staying with inspirational trees that come alive, and an underrated favorite of mine, the seemingly angry monster tree from A Monster Calls. But as the story progresses, we learn the monster isn't angry or scary for no reason. He's a guide helping young Connor through emotions to heal with the death of his mother. One day, if you look back and you feel bad for being so angry, you couldn't even speak to me. You have to know that that was okay. I'm not crying, you're crying. To get this list to something more upbeat, let's look at one of the funniest tree scenes ever to be put on cellular. We had a really good time on our date last night, did you? And that's with Mary Catherine Gallagher doing her part to save mm. trees in Superstar. <sighs> We're just doing my part to save the rainforest. Speaking of funny, no other film rallies the Christmas spirit or the Christmas tree than the Griswolds do in Christmas Vacation. <laughs> that squirrel gets me every time. And now it's time for three untraditional choices that rank very high on my list. The first starring John claude Van Damme in Kickboxer. Pure cheesy 80s motivation at its finest. Take the tree. You want me to break my leg? Brother, remember? You kicked that tree, Van Dam. I'm okay. No list of famous tree scenes in movies would be complete without the last unicorn. A children's film that often prompted much nightmare fuel for many. Who could forget this scene where a young wizard named Schmendrick is suffocated by a pair of tree breasts? Faithfulness beyond any man's deserving. When no other in the world remembers your name, there is no immortality. 
but a tree's love. That's a real movie, folks. The next is a big oak tree at the north end of a hayfield in Buxton, Maine. It's got a long rock wall, and it's something out of a Robert Frost poem. I'm talking Shawshank Redemption, and the tree became so popular, it became a constant stop for many Shawshank fans. It's actually located in Ohio, and sadly the tree was recently struck by lightning, but a local craftsman was given the wood from the tree and carves out keepsakes to inspire diehard fans forever. And now it's time for the number one tree character of all time, and this is an easy one. We are With just those three words, Groot inspired a whole new generation. Loyalty, unconditional love, protection, and friendship. It's impossible to find another tree that bodies so much of the best of humanity. But that's just the best tree character. Now it's time to name the best tree scene of all time. And this one was also easy. Get ready for the most action-packed use of a tree I've ever seen on film, from King Kong vs. Godzilla. have it the best trees in movies i just planted some trees i hope you will plant a tree for one dollar you can plant one of these guys so please help us out and visit teamtrees.org spread the video spread the other videos and thank you so much for watching